This is the final image on Langton Roof, 300 grams paper. Draw the outline of the trees and take masking fluid and using the stick or the end of a brush without the bristles, lay out down the skin of masking fluid. So I'm going to take a hake and wet the sky. It doesn't matter if it's a hake or not, just a big brush. You see I'm painting all the way over. I'm not bothering about cutting in or anything. And I'm going to approach the sky from the top. And then with a mixture of two yellows, the cadmium yellow and the lemon yellow, I'm going to stab in the yellow again, straight over the trees. Scumble that off into the dampness. Okay, then we're going to mix up some sap green into a puddle with a little bit of green shade blue. And now we're going to put it on all over the lower part of the forest in the background. Figure of eight movements. Get some more of the paint on the brush. Go along the horizon, then figure of eights. Let's push it. Let's wet the area. In fact, let's wet the brush. And then wet the area we want the green to move into and just scuffle spots. So some of this orange in there. And slightly damp brush just to feather that edge off. And a little hot spot maybe here as well. And off to the edge. And then we'll just stipple that around with a damp brush. And add a tiny little bit of the hotness to that and let that settle out. Going back to that faint green, let's just give ourselves a bit of a pine tree idea somewhere out there. Behind there. And maybe some in the background before we put the big ones in or the serious ones in. Using that green we used before, let's just scuffle up, flick out the idea of some tops of some pine trees there. Now it's time to mix up the green for the conifers. So we'll take a big load of sap green, put it in that puddle we had going on, and then we'll go to the Viridian green. And we want it quite a bit of that, give ourselves a puddle and then maybe just to kill off that pretty peppermint intensity we'll take some of the burnt umber, with the dark brown and we'll add that to that. Right let's sort out this stand of conifers. So we're going to put some of that green we mixed up with the sap green and the viridian green and the burnt umber into this bottom area then we're going to let it start to come up and Take it up bit by bit to be the stand of conifers. Push them out. I take that very dark colour I've got and I can go in there along the bottom of the woods in the distance and then I can start to push it out to figure of sort of scuffing and figure of eight ish there. Load up the brush again. Take wet brush, a small one. Let's wet this area here where we want it to fizzle out into. Added some more water to the brush. Let's punch that into that green, which is a mixture of the greens and even a little bit of green shade blue. And sustaining the paper a little bit. Quick, sharp. Right, so we've got soften that off. And now let's scuff around and make some foresty shapes. Okay, let's put some shadows in some of the edges of these. With, I've got a rigger here. I'm going to flick some bits in hither and thither with the small, not with the six round. We're just going to mess with some of those edges to soften them up. And some small conifers down here going away from us. Again, I'm going to use the, the rigger with this because it's a bit cute. Dancing and jiggling. And let's just add some 
definition to some of the possibilities of conifers over here. You can use a fan brush for this, but you might not have one at the moment, so you can do any small brush is going to work for these intimations of some conifers in the gloom. And then when we're happy with the background, we can simply rub away the masking fluid, which is a skin on the paper. Right, so we've got a problem here with the top of this tree. So we slice along the sides there like that with a craft knife. And then we just scratch away through there. So we've got a more of a with birch trees we've got horizontal marks and we can use the side of the brush to scuff across like that. Burnt umber and sort of greens and bits of dirty paint on the edge. You just bring them over like that. And sometimes it's easier to move the picture to one side so you can get the hand and you can come in from an edge and then we let it dry and wait to put the shadows in and next the branches and some branches with a rigger coming up areas pulling them across So now we're going to put the shadows on the trees. The right light is coming from one side, leaving a shadow of the tree. We can put it on with a thin wash of a dirty lavender and then use a second brush to soften the edge off. So all the way up and along. Second brush. off on the edge off. So when we've done the shadows on the trees we now do the shadow on the snow which is coming away from the trees. And to finish off some wispy bits of grass pull them out with the rigger. Here and there. 